There's a cool bridge that goes over the Olentangy River. It's a walking bridge that follows along the Olentangy Trail, which goes on for miles. But um, this one happens to be at the trail launch site. This is, sorry for the poor resolution, but this is Google Maps zoomed in and you can see the you can see the where, where it is and where the trail is and how the walking bridge it comes close to, to 315, which is a highway here in Columbus. And, and um, it's really nice seeing this bridge from the highway. So I went on air map and I went on Kitty Hawk and I, I got FAA permission to fly my drone up in that general area, which is great. So I, I drove up there. Now when I drove up there, I parked and I walked up near the bridge and, and I realized that the drone wouldn't take off and I couldn't, it wouldn't take off at all. It turns out that the bridge is within a, a no-fly area. So I decided to open up the DJI Fly app to see what was going on. I was trying to take drone off around here, uh, to launch it from around here. But as you can see, it's within this restricted area. This is the no-fly zone area, which was not easily seen on Kitty Hawk. Um, so I noticed I couldn't take off, I couldn't fly, do anything. So I moved, I walked down the river, and I found a spot past the red line where there were a lot of picnic tables, and people probably were having fun during the summer, and um, took off from there. But even taking off from there, I could only go as far as this red line to actually take video or pictures of the area that I wanted to focus on, which is which is which is a little disappointing to be honest, because I wanted to really fly around this bridge up and around it and through, maybe even through it. With nobody around, of course. Um the next couple of videos you're gonna see are gonna show the bridge and then you'll see a number of uh, iPhone pictures where I'm at that I'm not closer to the bridge and you can see it in a lot more detail. Believe me, I love to be able to fly under, over, and around this bridge and get so many interesting pictures and video. I've gotten in the habit recently of always creating a 3D pano with my drone, so that will be in the below notes. In this video, I'm just circling from that location, again, safely away from the bridge, just to get a general idea of the of the area that I'm flying around. Here are a few iPhone pictures of the bridge closer up. These two pictures are of the small dam that's to the left of the bridge, again with the iPhone. I did catch some wildlife. If you look at the top right hand corner, I caught a fish there. And if you look at the next video, you also see them. It might not be the same fish or it might be, but there's another fish that's showing up there as well. And also somebody trying to probably trying to catch the fish uh, that I'm actually looking at. Besides that, there was a little turtle that was only about an inch long in the middle of the trail that could have been squished by a bike or, or a jogger. So I picked him out of the area. Well, thank you for watching this video. And I know it's not the most exciting one I've probably done, but I've been wanting to fly around this bridge for a little while now. And I wish I could have done a lot more than I did, but it being in a no-fly zone uh, really uh, prevented that from happening. I have to say that um, it is probably best that DJI does do what it does as far as not letting me get closer to it. I, I shouldn't fly in a no-fly zone. So it's great that the, the actual software prevents it from happening. Talk to you soon. Bye.